Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, go Hi, I'm Black Dragon, and welcome to another edition of Black Dragon Biker TV. And as always, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in from wherever it is in the world that you happen to be. Ah, tonight's question. Kind of an interesting one. I thought I would get into it with you guys. For those of you who are new to my channel, we cover motorcycle club protocol and biker club life. So if that sort of thing appeals to you, like, share, and subscribe, and go on along with us on our nighttime walks a lot of times through the forest as we talk about some of the issues that people ask questions about on the biker set today today's question is uh kind of interesting and it, it, it's gonna go to my top five things to do uh if you want to start a uh a uh rc top five things to do if you want to start an rc so get this question hey man been watching your channel and I thought you might be a good person to get some advice from I ride with a group of friends about five or six of us at any given time and there has been talk about making a club I suspect we would likely be better suited as a RC riding club uh, rather than an MC motorcycle club but I am not a hundred percent clear on the differences at least on how the local clubs will perceive it. I live in, uh, uh, he told me where he lives, and in our area, I think, I don't think there are any major clubs that claim the immediate area, but I do know we have Wills of Soul, Pagans, and Warlocks in our area. Uh, what are the protocols for starting an RC versus an MC? Does it matter that we ride all different types of bikes? Uh, does it matter that we are comprised of both men and women and have no desire to segregate that? I'm 51 years old, an older guy. I don't really see myself prospecting uh, for an MC at this point in my life. We have an idea of what we want our name and our patch to be, but I know we can't be too married to anything uh, if we need to get blessed by the dominant in an area. So I, he understands that that could change. Obviously, we wouldn't be trying to claim territory. That being said, what is and is not okay to put on a patch? The last thing we want to do is cause trouble from ignorance. Well, I, I, you know, like I, I get this question like so much. I, this, this question, uh, forgive me, I think my nose might be running a little bit. It's, the weather's changing, so I might get a cold here. But anyway, uh, I get this question like, every day almost every day certainly every week and i can answer it a thousand times in a thousand different videos and i still get the same question like the videos are named so a person could go back and look at them but uh i suppose that <laughs> what it comes down to is people don't really want to know the answer they don't get the answer they want to hear so they ask it over and over again from many different people and so i thought i would come up with the top five things to do if you really want to be an rc and not have to face all of this and learn all of this that you have to learn the idea that there's uh, no dominant in your area uh, but there's absolutely a dominant in your area. Even if there's no dominant chapter in your area, someone claims that area. Uh, the way it is today, you got to know so much stuff to get started. Nobody's going to be able to tell you what you need to do in a five minute long video or 20 minutes or even two hours. And no one's going to be able to darn sure type to you what to do in a quick email you got to learn this culture and like you said 
you know, you don't feel like prospecting for anyone. Yeah, you're an older person, like many older people. Uh, so who wants to put the time in learning this culture? So if what you want is an RC, I got five ways that you can have one and not have to go to anybody and not have to ask anybody any questions. Um, and I know you won't want to hear this, but there's a few things to know. Uh, for instance, the whole idea about not claiming territory and all of that. You guys hear all this kind of stuff. It's just not the way it works anymore. Uh, everybody knows you're not claiming territory. It, 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 it's, it's never really been about that. It's, it's about power. It's about position. It's about prestige. It's about many things that are not what we used to call standard MC protocol from days way back. Now, if you're coming onto the biker set, uh, as it used to be, if you were an RC, nobody gave a damn. But now, if you're an RC and you're wearing that patch on your back, you're going to go through the same thing everybody else goes through uh, in most places. It, it's just, and, and that's because, very simple, RCs don't want to be RCs. They want to be MCs with the RC label. They, they want to be MCs with the RC label, hang out with the MCs, walk with the MCs, ride with the MCs, party with the MCs, but be recognized as RCs that don't have to follow any protocol or go through, through any of the trouble. And, you know, that used to work until so many clubs started doing it and screwed it up for everybody else, which is how those kinds of things go. So, if you want to be a real RC, and just ride with your friends and maybe have some something on that looks alike but something that no one's going to mess with you about no one's going to care no one's even going to notice you follow these five things first thing forget about the backpacks bro one piece two piece three pieces five pieces i hear one piece patch is an rc and nobody cares about that it's a family club it doesn't have a state rocker on. All that is gobbledygook. There are plenty of 1% of motorcycle clubs out there with a one-piece patch. <laughs> and there are plenty of, I know some RCs with a three-piece patch. But when you put that patch on your back, all of a sudden you hit a different class, a different genre, a different level of responsibility and a different level of accountability. So, stay away from the damn backpatch. I know it looks cool. Everybody wants one. But it comes with a certain amount of um, trouble that most people don't need. A uh, certain amount of responsibility, a certain amount of accountability that you got to deal with to have that backpatch. And if all you want to be is an RC, you don't need a back patch. I know, I know, it's America. You can wear what you want. Well, wear what you want. You're not gonna get me to tell you, don't wear what you want. But if you're asking me for my advice, my advice, number one, forget that damn back patch. Um, I know that in places like Europe, they wear what they call a side patch which is a patch they wear on the front of them. Uh, I would say wear something like that. A little bitty insignia on the front of your jacket uh, that, that everybody can identify with. So no back patch, and now no wandering eyes, no wondering eyes, no, no funny looks at you, no questions at the gas station. You're not putting up a profile that an MC is even interested in. You won't be molested. You won't even be talked to. Nobody will care. Number two. Number two is uh, boy, I'm in the darkness here, ain't I? I think number two is forget about 
the, the leather cut. Uh, the leather vest. Is that number two? Yeah, let me see here. We're getting the light right here. Yeah. Forget about the, uh, the, uh, the uh, leather cut. Um, you know, know a lot of people that, man, just fascinated with that, that cut, that leather cut. Uh, that, that's a vest. They're just fascinated with that vest, and damn it, they got to have it. And, well, they got to put where they're from on the back of it and all this stuff, and, uh, Motorcycle clubs were not the first people to come up with these, and they won't be the last, and blah, 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 I hear all this stuff. But the bottom line is, that's what they're looking for. That's what they're looking for. So, if you just must have, I say wear a windbreaker. Or, you know, most of you guys that, you, you know, you wear, uh, most of you folks that are into recreational kind of riding, you guys wear safety gear anyway, but uh, I say get a windbreaker or, you know, a jacket or something to, to, to put your stuff on. But if you got to wear that cut, if you just got to have it, keep the stuff off the back of it. You know, a slick back, people don't notice. You're not making a statement, you're not saying nothing. That's what a slick back is. Once you start putting stuff on the back... Now you're going to run into the situations where somebody's going to ask you where you got your blessing from and on and on. It just gets ugly. Number three, ride staggered. Side by side riding in a pack is usually stuff that MCs do. And most especially MCs on the highest level. And absolutely, I believe all one percenter MCs. I've never seen one that didn't ride like that. I haven't seen them all. There could be a bunch of staggered riding 1% or MCs out there. I just haven't seen it. But when you don't present like a motorcycle club, you won't be taken like a motorcycle club. And if you're not trying to be an MC, then you're probably trying to ride as safe as you can anyway. So ride staggered. When they see you out riding staggered in a group, they know that that's a family club. Family individuals hanging out, riding, being safe, blah, blah, blah. Keeps the eyes off you. Keeps the attention off you. Keeps the uncomfortable times at the gas station off you. Because you're not presenting a profile that will be something they find intimidating or something they want to investigate. Number four, avoid officer patches and positions. This is another thing that motorcycle clubs do. Uh, a riding club might have a president, but you don't particularly need to put that on your vest when you're riding as a riding club and enjoying your friends. So, man, when you got a president, vice president, sergeant in arms, a motorcycle club is expecting you to present like that. So if you're a riding club with a president, I'm expecting you to be circled by two prospects at all times. I'm expecting the sergeant at arms to never let you be by yourself, not even for a minute. I'm expecting you to, to be set up uh, in, a, in a way that I would recognize that um, you recognize what you're doing with those positions. So now you're looking like a motorcycle club. So what's a motorcycle club going to do? Check your ass. That's what they're going to do. So, avoid that. If you're the leader of the group, you're the leader of the group. If you're the president, if you're the road captain, or what do you guys call them? Uh, 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 what do you guys call road captains? Uh, tail gunners, stuff like that. Uh, I don't see why you particularly need to have these officer patches and positions if all you really want to be is a riding club you don't want to face anybody. You don't want to have to go through any BS. You don't want to have to learn the protocols. You don't want to have to go and get permissions and all that. Then don't comprise yourself. Don't comport yourself as an organization that we need to do that. And finally, the fifth thing, 
Join the American Motorcyclist Association. Join the AMA and fly that AMA patch. Believe it or not, the AMA is still recognized and respected by many big time MCs and one one percent of MCs out there in the world. They will, in many cases, respect that patch, respect the organization, and not give you a hard time. So those are some things to consider to be just a true RC. My top five things. Does this guarantee that you won't have any issues? Absolutely not. How can a grown man guarantee any other grown man anything? But to me, in my opinion, my experience, it'll go a long way out of keeping you from having to worry about all the questions you just asked me. If you're not trying to be in the MC world and all you really want is a group by which you can recognize your brothers and sisters and ride peacefully without all that BS, without someone telling you you got to put on a, a support patch and, and, and you got to pay money to all this old stuff they come up with. If you don't want to go through all that, then don't patch up. Don't configure up. Don't have all those officer patches and stuff and get you a charter with the American Motorcyclist Association, the AMA, and uh, ride fun and have a great time. I'm Black Dragon. That's my two cents. Love to hear your two cents in the comment section below. If you had any kind of experiences with this or you have an opinion about it or you agree or disagree with what I say, let me hear about it in the comments. I'd love to hear that. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in and get skinny. Get Black Dragon's first book, The Prospect's Bible, to learn how to join a motorcycle club. It has been an Amazon number one bestseller for the past seven years and is required reading for over 3,000 motorcycle clubs worldwide. This book is a must-have for new people venturing onto the motorcycle club set. It will teach you how to prepare yourself for service to the motorcycle club nation and show you how to qualify a motorcycle club to be worthy of your service. Available on Amazon, Kindle, and for order at your local bookstore. Get your autographed copy at blackdragonsgear.com. Be the best motorcycle club prospect you can be. Get the book. If you are seeking clarity about issues stemming from problems or crisis occurring within your motorcycle club, then set up a consultation with Black Dragon. Black Dragon has over 30 years of experience in the motorcycle club world, having served as a national president of the 50-year-old Black Sabbath MC Nation for nearly 10 years. Black Dragon is a veteran negotiator, skilled in crisis management, conflict resolution, inner club issues, press conferences, and club reputation management. You can set up an appointment to speak with him by phone at clarity.fm forward slash black dash dragon. Get the clarity you deserve to help make your MC the best place it can possibly be. Set up an appointment with Black Dragon on clarity.fm forward slash black dash dragon. Prepare yourself to take the helm as president of your mighty motorcycle club by delving into the pages of Black Dragon's newest book, The President's Bible, Chronicle One, Principles of Motorcycle Club Leadership. There you will learn to advance your skills in applying the 14 scientific principles of leadership similar to those taught to officers in the United States Naval Service. Available in hardcover, paperback, and ebook get yours today on amazon kindle or order it at your local bookstore order your autographed copy from blackdragonsgear.com be the best motorcycle club president you can be get the book